Hello and welcome to Kingdom Talk broadcast. Today we are going to be talking about God's original intent for man. And this will help you to discover your purpose. This, you know, taking us back to our history, yeah. as we call it, taking us back to the very beginning of why God created us, why God um, placed us on earth and what happened after man fell. And in order for us to do that, we need to go back to the yeah. very beginning. Very well. Yep, yeah, absolutely. I think there is a need for us to trace our steps back Amen. to the very beginning when God created man. Mm. So if you want to know the purpose of a thing, you mm. have to begin to seek the mind of the creator. Amen. You need to seek the mind of the person that first thought about that particular thing. Amen. Or else, if not, then you can pick up that thing and start using it the way you like. Mm. But that does not necessarily mean that you are meeting the purpose of the creator. Of, of the creator. Amen. So eventually, you can begin to abuse that thing or you can begin to use that thing in not the right way or not deriving the best benefit mm. from that particular thing. So the same thing applies to us as human beings. We have a creator. Amen. We were not a product of evolution. That's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Contrary to many opinions mm. and beliefs of people, we, we were not as a result of a big bang. Amen. So we were as a result of the creation of an intelligent mind. Oh, and amen. that intelligent mind is none other than God himself. Amen. It is the supreme being, is the supreme God, is the all-knowing, all-sufficient God. And we were fashioned by that kind of a person. Amen. We were fashioned by that person himself, God. Amen. So I think the best thing is to actually go back into scripture and begin to see what was in the mind of God. Yes. What was in the mind of the creator when he created us. Amen. So, God didn't just sit down and say, oh, I am bored today. Let us create man. <laughs> like, I am bored today. Let's do something. And, and that buttress the, the um, Bible verse that says that, you know, before the foundation um, before, of, the world. of the world, he already knew us. Absolutely. So it was not as a result of God think where we were not an afterthought after the earth was created. No, no, no. He already he created the earth with us in mind already. Oh, Amen. Wow. You didn't say that again. <laughs> you didn't say that again. He created us, the earth, he created the earth with us in mind already and before I, he formed the earth. I think that is something that we really need to pay attention to. Mm. That God created man, mm. but he created man on purpose and Amen. for a purpose. Amen. When God was creating the earth, mm. God had a mind. Mm. He had an intention he had a plan mm. for us that okay i'm going to create all of this but some people are coming after to enjoy this Amen. to do something on this he created the earth to extend his kingdom to earth okay yeah, because he was point. already ruling um heaven yeah and he created the earth so that he can extend his kingdom but god is a spirit and a spirit cannot rule the physical world because the earth is a physical place where it demands physical things. Yep. And that was the reason why God created man. Mm -hmm. Man is a spirit. Man is a spirit. Because God, what did the Bible say in, in, in the book of um, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 uh, six to 27? All right. I think let, let's go into the Bible so we just don't do all the talking. Amen. So, in Genesis 1 and verse 26, mm. the Bible says, And God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Amen. And let them have dominion over the birds of the air, over the fish of the sea, mm. over the cattle, and mm. over everything that creeps upon the earth. And that's quite interesting because he did not mention human in those things. No. So you can <laughs> have dominion over other human beings. Other human beings. Because that was not what he, he planned. Don't do that at all. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is not for us to have dominion over one another. And Amen. that happens right now. Mm -hmm. But the only thing I can say about that is that is using power in the wrong way. Absolutely. And, and that happens all over the place. That happens in the place of work. That happens in, in, in our society. That happens Church. in churches. Mm. 
That's actually sad. That happens in churches. Mm. So you use power over other human beings like yourself. Mm. That, that is, that is, that is not, not God intended the way in the God intended place. it. Amen. So here, if we go back to what we are saying here, mm. God created the earth to extend his kingdom mm. here on earth. Amen. Amen. That's the first thing you need to understand, mm. that the earth was created in yes. order for the kingdom of God mm. to manifest Amen. here on earth. Amen. So the earth is meant to be a reflection of the kingdom of God. Amen. The earth is meant to be a reflection of heaven. Mm. Mm. That is the very first thing we need to understand. Mm. Then we need to begin to understand what this text is actually saying, that man was created in the image of God. Mm. You want to say anything about that? Yeah. Um because God is a spirit. Yeah. And I guess when we think about, you know, us as man, we think about, you know, you being a man and then I'm probably out of the equation because I'm a woman. Mm. But that's not what the Bible is referencing there. The man, the, the man that God talked about in the Bible mm. is the spirit of God. Wow. God, man, the spirit, mm. because we have spirit in us. Well, yep. Man, the spirit was created from the image, the spirit of God, and from his likeness. Yeah. And likeness includes characteristics, his creative nature, yeah. his love, yeah. everything that makes God God. Absolutely. God pulled you out of himself. Whoosh. And it, you, we're basically a replica of God. And that's why the Bible says that, don't you know that ye are gods? Mm. He has made man a little lower than Elohim. Right. Amen. Oh, he has made us a little lower than him because we carried the nature of God in us, the fullness Ooh. of God. That's what we carry. And that was what the image and likeness of God is. And I know that it's very difficult for you to understand that <laughs> because the our surroundings says otherwise. Mm. The people that the, the teachings that we've heard from time past says otherwise. That's right. But that is you can't argue with this thing. You can't argue with what you know, I've got. You cannot argue with it. Mm. Um, it's what it says. We are not making it up. No. We are reading directly from there. Yeah. And that's what God created us for. Now, the, the, the difference is God then made them. He said he made man in female and in male. Let, let's read it. Yeah. The Bible says in verse 27 of that same Genesis chapter 1. Yeah. It says, so God created man in his own image. Mm -hmm. In the image of God, he created them. Mm -hmm. Not in the image of animals. Mm. This is speaking to those who said we, we came out of oh. donkeys or <laughs> monkeys or whatever keys. Here, the Bible says we were created in the image of God. Amen. Not in the image of any animal. Yes. In the image of God. Yes. Something to really hold on to. Yes. And it said, he created him, male and female. He male and female, he, he created, created them. them. Mm -hmm. So, the first thing here is, let us make man in our image. Mm. That man includes the male and the female. Amen. So, when God was creating man, he did not just create Adam, mm. even though Adam is the first person we saw. Mm. Mm. So, right? so man what is you're the saying, spirit. man is the spirit, yes. So, the, the spirit that I have is man. Amen. The spirit, the spirit that, that have you have is, is man. <laughs> Amen. That's on a spiritual level, on a spiritual standpoint. Yes. But on a physical standpoint, yes. I am a man physically, body wise. Yes. And you are a male. I'm a male. Body wise, thanks for that. I'm a male, <laughs> body wise, you are I'm a, a female. female, amen. So, our body is a house for the spirit man, absolutely, amen. That's 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 the way to look at it because that's the way the scripture explains amen. it, amen. So, we need to then go back and say, Okay, now I've been created according to the image of God. Mm. In fact, if I'm to paraphrase this particular verse 26, mm. it's basically saying, Let us reproduce ourselves in man amen that is what god is saying mm. he was speaking consulting with the other two persons of the mm. trinity and says guys amen. come here come here come here we need to do something special <laughs> something we've never done before amen. something out of the ordinary you know and that is so exciting to know that it is you know he took the totality of himself yeah and brought us out out of that yeah do you know how special that makes you 
that makes you <laughs> supernaturally special. <laughs> exactly, because, you know, God did not send his son to die for animals. Nope. He didn't send his son to die for anything else. He sent his son to die for man because he knew what he created. He knew he, we have him. We are him. So he needed to, he, he, that's why he sent Jesus, right? Absolutely. What, what God did was he went all out. Amen. You know, when you're, when you're throwing a party and say, mm. wow, they went all out. Mm -hmm. That means they pulled all the strings. They, mm. that, it was outstanding. They Amen. did everything they could to make it an extraordinary one. Mm. And that was what God did. Amen. It was like, you know what? I'm not going to make something inferior. Mm. I'm going to basically duplicate myself in them. Amen. Amen. I'm going to put what makes me me, my core nature, my core essence, my, my presence. I'm going to deposit in them and I'm going to make it according to my likeness. Yes. It's, it's going to be just like myself. Mm. And now I want them to have dominion. Mm. I want you to know this. You cannot have dominion without the image of God in you. Amen. 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 And that image is the spirit of God. And dominion also means rulership. Absolutely. He, he wanted us to rule the earth. You know, when he placed us, he said, have dominion over this. He said, rule this, rule this, rule this, rule this. He was commanding us to rule because he was ruling on, in heaven. Yeah. And he wanted us to rule here on earth because we were supposed to stay connected with him That's so right. that he will rule through us. That's right. On earth. That was the main thing. God wanted to extend his kingdom, um, not just in heaven, but to earth but through man. And that's, you know, like sometimes when a new co um, company or when a company wants to um, open another branch to maybe in another country, they will pick somebody, maybe a managing director, right. that they have trained themselves. Okay. And they will send that person into the country in, that they want to establish the office. Right. And they will say, you are to, you know, represent us here. Okay. Right. You will make all the decisions. We've given you delegated authority to, to basically um, have dominion, basically, over this, this office. You will make all the necessary decisions. Right. You, will, you will see things, but you have to stay connected to the headquarter. Right. Because you are there not to do your own will. Mm. You are there to carry out the policies. You are there to carry out the intentions. Right. You are there to carry out everything that the head office has instructed you. Wow. So you have delegated authority, not because you own that company. That's because right. it's still not yours. You're mm. just managing it. Right. But, you know, you are there to report back. That's why you have to be in tune with it. You can't disassociate yourself or disconnect yourself from the headquarter and then expect to be able that's to carry right. out the will of the headquarter. And that's what God has done for us. Mm. He sent us onto earth yep. to carry out his will whilst managing the earth. Whoosh. I'm not sure you got that. <laughs> <laughs> he, we are like managing director that God has sent here on earth. And he's saying, you know what? I've given you delegated authority, but you do not own the earth. No. We, we don't not. own it. No. So basically what you're saying is we are like that managing director within that organization. Yes. That has been dispatched to another location. Yes. To go and establish another office, mm -hmm. but under the banner of that Amen. organization. Yes. Under the name of that organization. Yes. Don't yes. change the name. Mm -hmm. Don't make it personal. Yes. Don't make it yours. Mm -hmm. But you're just going to take the policy of the organization, mm. you're going to take the, the vision of the organization, vision. the mission Amen. of the organization, Amen. the, the uh, procedures, processes, yes. the way of working, yes. and you establish it, you begin to implement it in that new location. Yes. What we are doing is we are extending our zone, our mm. territory into yes. another location. Yes. That is exactly what God has sent us here to Amen. do. Is saying you are citizens of heaven. Mm. Philippians 3 verse 20. Yes. You are not of this earth. Mm. We were not created just to get stuck and live a life of mediocrity. Mm -hmm. But he's saying, I want you to represent me. So mm -hmm. this is what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to put my image in you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to empower you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my spirit within you mm -hmm. so that you can have dominion. Dominion is basically, as you said, is rulership, mm -hmm. is delegated power. Mm -hmm. The power is not yours. It's not something that you made up of yourself. Mm -hmm. It's my power. It's mm -hmm. like the policeman that stops a truck. Mm -hmm. If he stands there in a mufti, not in his uniform, the truck is just going to <laughs> gone. Mm. But the truck driver respects the uniform. Amen. Not because he is powerful, but because the authority that he Amen. represents and stands Amen. for. That's and that true. is exactly what God has sent us here to do, to have dominion over the earth, to mm. implement the will of the king, mm. because he is the king. Yes. To implement the mind of the king. Yes. To implement the ways of doing things of the king. Yes. Yes. That is the idea. And when we are talking about the earth, Mm. We're not just talking about the physical earth mm. or, or, or houses, our dominion over houses. No, he's talking about our dominion over systems, mm. over the way the earth is governed, mm. Mm. over the different spheres of influences or different realms of influences, mm. maybe in education, in politics, in government, mm. in business, all of those in entertainment. Yeah. I want you to bring my mind into all of those Avenues into all of those areas. Amen. And you can't do that if you're not connected. You know, we, there's no way we'll be able to carry out the will of God if we're not connected to God himself. That's right. And um, that's why we have to stay connected. And unfortunately, that was what man lost. God created man to live forever on earth. Mm. You know, when he creates, if man hadn't failed, we'll still be on earth. You know, <laughs> I know we're striving right now every single time. Heaven is our home. I see if that was what God originally intended. No, God did not intend from the start. Yeah. From the start, God did not intend for us to come on earth and then go to heaven. It was oh. never that way. Shh, what he last, intended I was, I place you on earth. And you rule earth on my behalf and you will live and rule on earth forever. But because man fell, mm. you know, then death came into the world. We walked, you know, sin woke death up. Actually, what did man fall from? He fell from dominion. He what? fell from, from what God, the purpose was rulership. Mm. And if you fell from, from your purpose, then that's what you've lost. Yeah. He lo we fell from that rulership when we gave over dominion to the devil. So Adam gave, gave dominion over to the devil, exactly. gave back that authority, mm -hmm. not gave back. He gave it to the... He gave it to the devil. Whether you call it ignorance or whatever it is, yes. maybe he doesn't actually understood what he had, whatever mm -hmm. it is. But the moment they part partook of that tree... Yes. Yes. They fell from dominion. They fell from dominion. We didn't fall from heaven. We didn't fall from heaven. We did not fall from heaven at all. We didn't fall from, I don't know, the sky, if you want to call it. We did not grow up from being an ape to something else. Um, no, we fell from rulership, from the dominion that God gave to us in the very beginning. And that's when also when we... The thing is, you can't have rulership without the Spirit of God, as you said before. Yeah. So the Holy Spirit departed, mm. right, and left man. Man became disconnected from God. Mm. And if you become Shandam disconnected from God, Shandam. then that's it. Mm. That is, you, you know, you can't rule anymore. You can't rule anymore. And that's prior to that happening. You see that there was order in that world. Yeah. God that put an order in place and man maintained that order. Mm. But when man fell, yeah. that's where we started having chaos because that's we right. lost that very thing that made us a ruler. Absolutely. And I think we need to really get that settled in our hearts that man was not created in heaven. Amen. Man was created on earth. Mm -hmm. And for earth. And for the earth. Mm -hmm. So the idea is not, in God's mind, in God's original plan, yeah. the idea was not heaven. Yes. At least for man. Yeah, because we even saw that, you know, God came to fellowship with them. The Bible says it will come in the cool of the day. Yes. Right? And have fellowship with them. So God, if God wanted you to be in heaven, he would have created you in heaven. Yes. 
Absolutely. So God definitely wanted you here on earth. Mm. I am not saying we shouldn't be heavenly conscious mm -hmm. because we are citizens of heaven. Amen. 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 Right? It, it's like a, an ambassador mm. that has been sent out from his country. Mm. He's a citizen of the country that is dispatching Amen. him, that is representing. Amen. Amen. But it is, his mission, his purpose is in another country. Amen. Amen. So the same thing applies to us. We are citizens of the kingdom of God, mm. but our mission is not in heaven. Our mission is here on earth. Amen. Now, Adam lost it, as you said. Mm. Jesus came, and we're going to be looking at this in our next few teachings. Mm. Jesus came to restore man. Mm. So if Adam fell from dominion, mm. if Jesus is going to be restoring man. He's going to be restoring man back to dominion. Amen. Jesus can be restoring man back to where he didn't fall from. Amen. <laughs> Jesus can be restoring you back to heaven. Amen. Amen. Because you never fell from heaven. Amen. It wasn't heaven that you lost. Amen. What you lost was dominion, rulership, that delegated authority that God gave you. Amen. So God is the king. In heaven and on earth, we are kings. Amen. And that is why he says we are, he is the king of kings. Amen. Amen. Wow, that's awesome. That's, that's you know, it's, it's very important that we learn these lessons so that we can discover our identity. Yeah. Um, the loss of a, an identity is it's what makes us to sort of not know who we are. Mm. And it makes you, when you don't know who you are, you struggle. Absolutely. You, you're you put right, left and center. You go for everything. And it's sad to see that people are subjecting themselves under things that they shouldn't mm. because we do not know who we really are. Wow. Right? So, you know, these teachings is, they're essential to discovering your identity. And once you've discovered your identity, you're able to discover your purpose and then learn to fulfill it. Right. So the, you know, if we do a quick summary of what we learned yep. today, because we will be continuing from next week and we'll continue from here from next week and see where exactly what, what, what the fall of man created. Mm. Right. And so you want to definitely stay tuned to these teachings. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah. So if you want to do that quick recap for us, what we've said yeah. in this. Our lesson summary is that God created earth to extend his kingdom. God made man in his image and likeness. Yep. God placed man on earth and asked him to have dominion. Mm. So God made man on earth to rule it. Right. Earth was not made to be independent of heaven. That's right. Man fell and gave rulership to the devil. That's right. Man lost the Holy Spirit. That was what we lost. Mm. And man declared independence from God. Yeah. So these are the things that we need to take to heart. We need to bear these things in mind and go back to the beginning. Get yes. back into the book of Genesis and begin to see what the original intent of God was, the original mm. plan, and see where we are and mm. begin to reconnect ourselves back Amen. to the beginning. Yes. And I believe this is going to change yes. our lives yes. totally. Yes. Amen. So um, join us again next week as we continue on discovering and learning more about the kingdom of God. Until next time, you stay blessed. God bless you.